The nation's leading hurricane experts have updated their outlook for the Atlantic hurricane season, saying they're now expecting more than average number of storms. Now today, officials with the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration increased the projected number of named storms to between 14 and 21, with as many as five major hurricanes. Major hurricanes are hurricanes that reach category three, four, or five, with winds of 111 miles per hour or greater. These ranges take into account the five named storms, including one hurricane, that already formed this season. The peak of hurricane season is just starting and it officially ends on November 30th. And there are a lot of competing factors at play that are making this season especially difficult to forecast. Your local weather expert, meteorologist Alexa Trishler, is joining us now with a closer look. And Alexa, this is obviously not news that any of us wanted to hear. <laughs> right, exactly. It's already difficult enough to put a forecast together, but we do have those competing factors, which we'll talk about in a few minutes as to why it's particularly difficult this hurricane season. But that's right, you heard it. NOAA is increasing the their numbers. Now they're calling for a 60% likelihood that this season will be above normal. Back in May, their update said, okay, only 30% chance of an above normal season. So they have doubled their outlook. And now they're thinking we could see maybe 14 to 21 named storms and two to five of them might become major hurricanes. So they have increased their numbers. And the reason why they've increased their numbers is because of these record breaking sea surface temperatures. It is so high hot out in the Atlantic Ocean running well above average for this time of year. So that's why the numbers have been bumped up. But the reason it's so difficult is because El Nino is in play right now, which we know El Nino helps to limit tropical systems from getting formed because there's a lot of wind shear that is out in the Atlantic Basin. So we've got these two opposing factors, hurricane fuel, which is record warm ocean temperatures, and then higher wind shear. So there's a lot of uncertainty in the forecast. It really, it's a wait and see on who wins out. Now we have had five storms so far this season. Emily is next on the list, but luckily we have no tropical threats coming our way in the next seven to 10 days. So that's great news. Just the ongoing heat wave, which we'll talk more about in just a few minutes. All right, until then, I'm pulling for El Nino. Thank you, Alexa. <laughs>